Hello everybody, welcome. Hello everybody, my name is Strange Eli. I'm sorry I'm whispering, um, my parents are asleep, but I gotta make sure I do this video because otherwise my whole promise of doing a video a week would be useless. So, um, I felt like for this one to try to get a video in um, that's not a vlog, I would uh, read a comic live in front of you and, um, um, and then give you a review and some thoughts um, afterwards. Um, I know it's kind of cheating, but I don't think that this would be a, a vlog. Um, and maybe I can turn into a normal series of me reading comics live and then giving you an opinion um, slash review about it. So, um, um, and also, I kind of dig this lighting. I have these, these Christmas lights here, um, as well as my lamp. Um, uh, and it gives it much more like warm lighting versus like my curtains during the day which gives it more of like a white light in front of me so um anyways let's dig into this box here i thought for this i should read something that i haven't read before so i'm gonna go ahead and take a look and see what i can find I find a lot of uh, comic books in like 50 cent bins, sometimes at pawn shops, and I buy them because I like the property that they have, like Green Lantern and so on and so forth, but I don't read them just because I'm bad like that, so um, but let me try to find something. Okay, so I found what we're going to read, um, and we are going to read um, Detective Comics. Uh, I don't know which number this is. It doesn't say like it normally does in like the New 52 stuff, so, um, but I'll show you the cover here. Um, it's old, it has uh, the Mad Hatter on it, um, who's uh, not very well known character um so i'll check it out and see if i like it so uh be back shortly just a brief interruption here it looks like this is detective comics number 573 um this must have been before well this is before they rebooted it and they had all like all like of the decades from 1939 on all is one continuous story, so... Sorry, I'll get back to reading. Um, with the Mad Hatter, and um, I gotta say there was a couple things I really like about it. First of all, I really like the um, the art style in the 80s, um, even though I do prefer the New 52 stuff to, and like, um, and uh, Jim Lee, Jim Lee's artist style to maybe this um the, the it's still like fun and it still has that whole like 80s vibe to it um especially that you see in old comics and i dig it um the writing is uh hilarious exactly what you'd expect out of like a kind of older style batman comic book um the newer stuff the new 52 stuff is much darker um and i think it's better because of that but uh this has the whole you know like robin making puns and um uh robin who's actually jason todd in this uh not uh dick grayson or anything like that um yeah uh jason todd is the robin in this um and uh yeah it, i mean it's it's good it's a lot of fun actually um 
at the end, uh, it shows Robin uh, laying on the ground and he looks like he might be dead. Um, which, if this is how Jason Todd dies in the comic books, like if this is the issue that he dies, then I where has how where has this been my whole life, you know? Um, but if I had to give it a score out of ten, I'd give it a I'd give it an eight out of ten. Honestly, it's it was really really fun to read. The art style was great. Um, my only complaint, obviously, is the writing because it's a little too uh, punny for my personal preference but um it's still good um the art is great uh i feel like there's a little too much of the whole um too much of the lettering uh the automatopoeia is kind of it's a little uh overkill you know um, um and just one thing that i wanted to point out that i found kind of interesting about this is that in the beginning it's not arkham it's not arkham asylum it's actually uh uh gotham state prison which is very weird. I don't know when... I thought that Arkham was a pretty early thing, but, I mean, this is very clearly Arkham. It's very... It's very Arkham-y, as you'll see here. Um, and... You know, uh... And Mad Hatter is talking to, um, a, th a psychiatrist, but... It says Gotham State Prison, and... Uh... So... I mean, other than that, it's a great comic book, um... If you're in a comic book shop and uh, in um, back in the day, uh, and you have 75 cents, then go ahead and pick up uh, Detective Comics number 573. You'll enjoy it. Um, if you like this, go ahead and uh, leave a comment and a thumbs up and stuff like that. I'm gonna try to do a Q&A in two weeks, so um, leave your questions for me in the comments, and I'll try to answer them in my Q&A. So, um, uh, I think that's going to be it. So if you like this, if you want to see it become a weekly thing, let me know. Um, obviously your comments help a lot. Uh, it helps me understand what's, what I'm doing good and what I'm not. So, um, anyways, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.